Osborne 75 is a free exhibit celebrating the library's 75th anniversary of its Osborne collection of early children's books, one of the finest public research collections dedicated to children's literature. The collection contains over 90,000 items, including manuscripts, art, toys, limited edition prints, ephemera, and more. Here are a few items showcased in the exhibit that are unique, rare, and important in our diverse collection. This painting by award-winning illustrator Dushan Petricic, entitled The Osborne Collection, Home of Children's Literary Heroes, depicts our heritage with an illustration of the library's Lillian H. Smith branch, where the collection resides surrounded by famous children's literature characters. Do you recognize any? J.R.R. Tolkien's fantasy tale, The Hobbit, or There and Back Again, has been a fan favorite for decades, spawning pop culture adaptations and becoming a mainstay in literature. In 1962, Tove Jansson illustrated the story character Gollum for a Swedish edition as a large towering creature. In the original edition, Tolkien describes Gollum as a creature with large plate-sized eyes and wrote nothing about his size but after seeing Jansen's Gollum, Tolkien edited future printings to correctly describe Gollum as small. In 2020, Canadian poet Jordan Scott published I Talk Like a River, exploring his childhood struggles with stuttering. The book was named Best Children's Book of the Year by Publishers Weekly. This art piece is an original created by artist Sidney Smith. This newer acquisition is an example of the broadening scope of the Osborne Collection. Diverse voices, perspectives, and cultures all help strengthen and expand the collection's current and future research value. Born in British Columbia, Shizui Takashima is a well-known artist and storyteller. Her book, A Child in Prison Camp, is an autobiographical tale of her struggles and emotions from her time in an internment camp in BC during the Second World War. Like many Japanese Canadians, she and her family were removed from their homes and placed in internment camps as Canada and Japan were at war. This book won the Amelia Francis Howard Gibbon Illustrators Award in 1972. Educational works are among the earliest forms of children's books. These might not exactly look like a book with pages, but these horn books are an early form of textbook, getting its name from the thin, translucent animal horn used as a protective layer Horn books featured letters and numbers that children would copy to learn how to read and write. Here, you can see a version made of ivory. They were used from the 14th to the 18th centuries to teach children their ABCs and 123s, as well as religious works. The collection also has toy theaters. This one specifically is a Pollux toy theater. Toy theaters were popular during the early 1800s. They consisted of elaborate, small-scale reproductions of theaters, stage setups, and actors from various shows. This one is the story of Cinderella. Since Edgar Osborne's original donation in 1949, the Osborne Collection has grown to be a highly regarded research collection of early children's literature. Visit the exhibit to see these items, and many more. Osborne 75 is on now till February 11 in the TD Gallery at the Toronto Reference Library.